yourself. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. I, I couldn't hear myself in the beginning. Welcome to Sam Livecast. Uh, you muted yourself. All right. <laughs> For those that didn't catch that, he muted himself. I didn't mute myself. I mute you all the time. <laughs> I wish I could mute hey, you right hey, now. Hey, 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 hey. It's the last live cast before Christmas. Your Christmas. Not our Christmas. We had our Christmas, which we call Hanukkah. I'm hearing something weird. Something's not. What's the matter? You're not on. My shit's not on? No. That's the problem. Wait. Oh, you weren't on at all. Oh. Wait. Hold on. Hello, is that better? Yes. Oh it is. my God. Can we start again? Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome to the Sam Livecast. You know what happened? I had to go pee right before the show and I took my mic off. <laughs> yeah. Because I know Lynn was in there with Jared and there's a whole like teaching session and everything. And I didn't think Jared, He's on like his second day here, needed to hear me take a leak in the bathroom. Jeez. We don't listen to you take a leak in the bathroom. I know. Why do you think hey, that it's we just like, on. want to hear it's that? It's just on. It's not like my shit's down. <laughs> I know what's going on. The last, wait, a week ago, you everybody said to me, I heard you pee. I didn't think I needed to hear people. You know what? It was like my second or third day in, uh, on TV. This is 2002. And um, Chrissy Russo at what then was Fox 6 dropped her mic pack into the toilet when Ooh. she went to the bathroom. Oh, no. That has nothing to do with what we're making. So anyway, Monday is your Christmas. I wanted to do something Christmas thematic for you. So we're making, we're making eggnog... Bread pudding. Oh yes. And before you go, it's gonna be gross. It's gonna be it's gonna be fabulous. Oh no, people are gonna love it. This is gonna it. be really good. Wait, so for a Jew, just wondering, do you guys yeah. is eggnog like the drink for Christmas? I mean, everybody just gets sloshed on eggnog. Uh, no, there was no booze in it unless you put rum. Oh, or I thought it came. No, with no, no, no. It's it's just like a it's like a sweet milk kind of thing. Got it. Okay, so here's what I do to make life easy. I start with a loaf of raisin bread. Because some people like, and me, I like raisins in this. I love it. I buy the loaf already done so I don't have to do that. I don't really like the ends. And then it's just a matter of simply doing this. With that Cutting nice it up serrated into knife. Serrated knife, thank you. <laughs> which you want to use because serrated knife is perfect for stuff like this. You know what, maybe we should go over those three knives that everybody <laughs> needs. <laughs> Max and I just did, so okay, never mind. Don't worry <laughs> about that right now. But see, all you're doing is cutting these guys into just little biteable cubes, right? I think it's gonna take about a half an hour in the oven. So we'll just get it in the oven right now and we're gonna be fine. And what's uh, the official name of this recipe? This is, uh, we're calling this eggnog bread pudding. Mm. It's sort of like the bread pudding recipe that's on my website, except we're making it with eggnog and not milk. Not a combo of milk and half and half. Have we made bread pudding on the show before? No, no, we have not. So look it, you've got the, you've got, I've got three eggs in here. Just beat these guys. Hey, just in case anybody was wondering, you can go to facebook.com slash Sam the Cooking Guy and interact with the whole crew. We'll go there, your do questions. that. That's what we do. And we're also gonna be giving away two more We All Gift Baskets tonight. Nice. So you better be paying attention because last night we basically just gave it to the people who asked us on Facebook. So <laughs> get, the, get those fingers ready because that might be the same thing happening tonight. No, we yeah. have to come up with something else. Okay, so three cups of uh, of um, eggnog. Three eggs. I'm gonna use about a half a cup of sugar that I'm gonna totally just guesstimate. Does seem like a lot every time you do that. I know, it looks crazy, doesn't it? But I knew how much was in this thing approximately. Oh, so really? that's it. That's that. I'm gonna mix this. This goes together pretty fast. Okay, this. Now the bread will go in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bread goes in. Uh, the other thing that I like to add is I like to add some pecans. Pecans are, are very, very Christmas time. So these are just a bunch of pecan pieces. And then there's always the question of whether you put chocolate in it or not. And I'm not a huge chocolate fan, but I know people like it. So I throw some semi-sweet in there. And now this just gets mixed. You want all of the bread to get covered in this egg, eggnog mixture. Oh wow, I can tell great. you this, it smells great. Where do you see where, how we're gonna finish Is it? Is that cinnamon smell coming from the eggnog? 
No, well, that's the eggnog, but I think it's nutmeg. I don't think it's. Oh, got it. Yeah. Cinnamon, exactly. Um, and nutmeg and cinnamon are similar, right? Mm. No. They're, you know what? They're used together very often. Okay, so this is a buttered, uh, cat, a buttered nine by eleven, whatever you call these things. I probably could have <laughs> used a smaller one, but I think it's gonna be well, okay. Thank God, Lynn doesn't have to take a picture of that. No, it looks that looks like ass. <laughs> That's terrible. Looking. I, I was gonna say snot. Really? Right. Okay. So here's this. Uh, I have a 350 oven. I can't remember what the recipe is. So I'm going to check when I sit down or maybe somebody can tell me mm -hmm. my bread pudding recipe. So this is finished. What's the oven set to? You just said it, sorry. Yeah, 350. That's Got okay. it. Okay. Okay. This, this, this. That goes away. You good, dude? Uh, I'm good, yeah. You're working quick, man. Well, I just, I really, I got a reason to get out of here tonight. Oh, do you? Um, yeah, well, I'll explain that in a little bit. <laughs> First I heard of that. Good, good, good. So we want to bring it out. We want the place to be nice and clean. Get a serrated knife, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have one. It's one of the three knives you should have. I need this for after. We can go sit down. All right, here we go. Nice. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, just let me start by saying, um, hmm. So last night, we, we had a lot going on last night. One of the things that we had going on was um, the boys from uh, Miho Gastro Truck were here. Yeah. And uh, we you know, show a picture, Lynn, of the uh, charcuterie plate? Yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah. Oh, I look awfully pale. Only on that side. You're okay in the front. Why does that camera make me look so pale? Well, you're either... Fire engine red in the face, or you're pale. <laughs> uh oh. Yes. Well then, jerk. <laughs> Almost took out a light. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so we had the boys from the Miho Gastro truck here last night, uh, showing off. And I will say showing off because it's worthy of oh. of being proud of. Yeah. Their charcuterie plate. Look cool. how much stuff is on there. It's. Do, just... you have a, do you have a shot of your picture? Uh, I. Yeah, actually, I do. So why don't you show that? Yeah. Show the real Should thing. Should I be embarrassed that I had never known what a charcuterie board was before? No, no. I mean, is I this know. another Christmas type thing? Or? No, 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 it's no, not. No. It, it's it's become a very popular. It's a starter restaurant item. Okay. And what's cool about it, I mean, Italian restaurants for a while have been doing it. Now it's been picked up by a lot of other restaurants. And what makes it interesting is because it's a gr look at it, it's a great thing to have because it's so varied. Hey, so go around, starting top left with the blue cheese, and tell everybody what well, it is. Well, I don't know. I, there's, uh, so there's I the French, French blue cheese, uh -huh. the brie. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the other cheese is. It's the paeve vecchio. The what? It's, it's, <laughs> like, it's like a Parmesan, but it's a little, uh, it's a little softer. It's, it's not a, as hard. But it's, but it's definitely a hard cheese. Yeah, it's like a Parmesan mm. cheese, yeah. Okay. Right, and so then there was the honeycomb beside it, which mm -hmm. is so delicious with cheeses these yeah. days. Yeah. So good. Like raw honeycomb, like a chunk of honeycomb taken out of a beehive. That's amazing. Right? There was the, um, wait, 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 the... Um, <laughs> you got what it. What's that thing called? Tarty the, type thing. Starts with a Q. Uh, quince yeah. uh, a paste, quince uh, jelly, gelée, what was it? It, it's a quince paste, so it's like quince paste. Like so jelly, quince, yeah. quince is a, uh, a apple-like fruit, apple pear-like fruit, a little more tart, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay, keep going. Go back to that. Those were the uh, the sugar-coated um, pistachios. Um, the wait, 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 wait. The uh, the apple mustard, mustard mustardo. Yeah. Well, I don't know what oh, say. There's the um, Prosciutto. A prosciutto next, then the the white, big fat white slices are the head cheese, which generally is kind of disgusting. <laughs> head cheese is one of those things that you know you got to have an acquired taste for it. Uh, I like it, and that that head cheese was super delicious. Lots of fat lardo esque around the edges, and then there was actually cartilage in the middle. That brought you know you have this crispy hard for hard for Kelly to hear this because she doesn't like the whole idea of this, <laughs> but me I love the I love the the contrasting textures. So you have that luxurious silky white fat with the 
crunchy. Uh, Do you know how ad- many women would like to hear that? Addition <laughs> of the crunchy addition of the cartilage that's inside that. There was a, a salami there, right? Yeah. 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 And another meat. I don't know what the brujol. I don't know what it was. Brujol? Was it a brujol? I have no, I don't think Brazil? it was a brujol. No, and then in the middle was the chicken liver mousse. Comes with a basket. Anyway, look, it's like the ideal thing. And anyway, the deal is 65 bucks and you pick it up and you take it to somebody's house for the holidays. You walk in with this, you're going to be a fucking hero. There's no question yeah. about it. Mm-hmm. I think- you could go, yes, you could go buy all those separate pieces, assemble them yourself, or you could just go to mihogastrotruck.com and order it there and get it done. I was going to say, I think you got to order it soon, right? You got to order it by like Friday, by tomorrow, because they'll have them ready. If you're going someplace Monday for Christmas eve i guess is christmas eve yeah, they deliver it sunday then you would get it and you would take it with and you'll be a hero but my point of bringing that up was not to go through the whole thing though it was very interesting and i loved it mm-hmm. was to say that what i made last night was this um a pepperoni a broken lasagna pasta that completely got like glossed over yes it did no. nobody cared no, wait a sec no, wait a sec wait a sec man. Look how good it looks. It didn't get glossed over. Wait a second. You, my tall Asian friend, yeah, who usually spends a solid 10 minutes taking your pictures, it got like three snaps of your camera, <laughs> and then your big at six foot five <laughs> ass was over there, and you were just pigging out. Okay. I'll admit, I was excited to try the board because you guys were macking on it the entire show. <laughs> That's right. Okay? I know. And then he had to go take pictures and we the, were all, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, this is so great. But let me put it this way. It was pasta, man. I spent about that much time on every pasta dish we did. No. There's no other. You can, it was this. You, put, you picked you up your well. camera. You like, Put the, cam- the camera on me. You picked up your camera. You went like this. Uh, click. Yep, I'm coming over there. And over <laughs> you went. <laughs> Meanwhile, you don't know this, Max. No. Yeah. He left about 1030 last night. He really? sat right there the whole time eating nothing but I did not leave at 10.30. Oh, that's such an exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was gone at like 7.30 too. Are you climbing, getting jammies on over here? Yeah. Somewhere <laughs> between 7.30 and 10.30, Lynn left uh, after he ate wait, all the food. Mark, Mark did ask, like, wait, like, do you live here or something? Why are you last to leave? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, wait. Jared, can you get a shot on my dad's fingers? Because I don't know why the hell you're wearing finger condoms. But... Do, you want this, do you want the story now? Yes, why not? Go into it. A few people okay, have got, asked. I, Okay, a few people have asked. Because it's pretty Pre- damn noticeable. It is? You having a problem with this? No. <laughs> they are finger condoms. Um, if you had fingers left. Let's, let's start with this. I, I'll tell this in a second. I, I've got an order that I want to do things. Okay, okay. okay. <clears throat> First, we're going to start with a look. Uh, hey, Lynn, look towards the, um, the cuckoo clock on the wall. Do you see the cuckoo clock there? Why do you? Yeah. Oh. Look down. What do you see? Do you see... Oh, it's a present. Go get it. Oh, it's a present. Oh, it's a prize. How cute. Start with that. It's not How for cute. you, though. It's for me. Don't Hand it over. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Christmas for Lynn. And I mean, you know what? You could save that, but. Wait, this is for me? It's better, for, better to open it's it. for yeah, you, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, dude. I think you have to open it now. He was, my dad was like, you can open it on Christmas. Well, no, you get a present for something, you open it. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know the, the oh, religion. Get out of here. Wait. <laughs> right. So that, wait, if you open that up, you'll notice that that's the Sam the Cooking Guy. Careful, please. Careful, yeah. please. Yeah, be, be careful, my friend. You have any idea how much I've been using knives lately? Oh, yes, I can imagine. I know you have a good reason to use a lot of knives. Mm-hmm. And I say that knife right there that I should have on my website, and I will in the new year, I promise, is the knife that I go to 99% of the time. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the Sam the Cooking You're like right pointing here. it right at Max's head. Careful! Stop it! You're scaring me. Oh, look at There it is. That is awesome. Yeah. Thanks. No, I, I'm like... So that smoking. knife, that knife for me, dude, fits my hand really well and does so many things. <laughs> it's a six inch chef's knife that is just perfect for me. And what else is in there? You have no freaking idea how much I need this. Well, <laughs> I, I've actually, no, I'm, I'm really actually needed to go get one. Let people really? see what it oh, is. Oh, man. Well, now you're set. Oh, and it's. Oh. It's a live cast oh. chef's jacket. Hold the name up. Yeah. Oh, oh isn't man. <laughs> We're such dorks. It says slappy on there. <laughs> hold oh, it, Max. God. Hold it close. It's a nickname of Lynn's. 
There you go. Okay. Slappy. It's and cause it's slappy because I have his size 17s I have make feet. a ton of noise when he walks around in here in the oh, middle of the show. On our concrete get, floor. I'm going to get so much crap for this All right. when I walk in the kitchen, man. <laughs> so let me tell you how my day went, and then I'll awesome. explain Thank my you. fingers. You're, you. you're welcome. You're welcome, my friend. I, I thought you could use both of those. So um, these glasses that I'm wearing right now are spy. I don't know if you can see the little spy thing on the side, but they're spy glasses that I adore. So Kelly and I went out, spies from here in San Diego. We went to, uh, uh, in Carlsbad, went to spy there today, and I was um, figuring out new, the new glasses that I'm going to get. And it took longer than I wanted, and I've got some amazing glasses from spy coming that i will model for you in the new year yes really cool. they're they're a very cool change from just my usual black frames. oh man all right and I'm you should excited. see the sunglasses mom got oh my god oh, look like, i think she's the most beautiful woman in the world when she, these things though i'm riding on <laughs> sam's, I, i'm riding on sam's coat i'm telling you she's so hot in these glasses <laughs> you, can't, you can't believe it exactly Come all right wow. so i run out of i run out of time and I, I uh, then I have to go to the store and I have to figure out what I'm getting. I got to get the bread and the, 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 what's it called? Eggnog. Eggnog. Yeah. Thank you. I get the My bread idea. and the eggnog. Um, and now I know. Now I'm here and it's about mm, 4.30. And I know Lynn is going to be showing up about 5. So now I got to wrap this shit. Oh, jeez. Right. So I get the I get the chef jacket out and I, I get the knife and I go. I don't know if that knife had the logo on it or not, and I wanted it to have a Cooking Guy logo on it. So I take it out of the package, got the Cooking Guy logo <laughs> on it, put it back in the box, and it, and then the box itself goes into a, the plastic sleeve that you can see right there, dude. Right. While I'm putting it back into the uh, sleeve. Oh no! I know this is going. I right. feel a. Uh, a pain in my finger. And I go, fucking paper cuts. I got a fucking paper cut from a thin little cardboard box. Paper cuts are the worst. Turns out they're not the worst. They're second worst to a brand new knife cut. Oh. oh. So wait, 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 wait. You're telling me I have a little bit of Sam the cooking guy on that knife right now? <laughs> yeah. well, let's take a look. Yes, I took pictures. They're not good. The first couple pictures here oh, are right. a little oh, bit blurry. Wait, this is just oh 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 wait, no. Stay there. Oh. Stay there. Hold on. Stop. Oh. But see what I didn't notice. So right here, this this is rated right know, here. Make that a little smaller. Right yeah, here is a right here that. is a is a the major cut that you can't see. Hold on. Ah, oh, it's like a so it's a dude. this is a major cut right there. Right. Yeah. This one. I didn't realize that the baby finger was also cut <laughs> until, baby. until I came back from next door, our new next door neighbor, he's a Navy doctor, emergency room doctor. Oh, good. And I walk over there and I go, hey, Josh, so this thing is bleeding profusely. My father would say like a son of a bitch. <laughs> My father had a way with words. I'm telling you, there is blood freaking everywhere. It's like a murder scene. So I've got a wad of paper towels really tight in my hand, and I walk over there, and I go, hey, Josh. He goes, hey, Sam, what's going on? I go, um, so here's my question. <laughs> when do you know if you've cut yourself bad enough that it needs stitches? He goes, you cut yourself? I go, yeah, right here. He goes, let me look. <laughs> Two seconds later, he goes, yep, you need to go to the hospital. <laughs> uh, what? So um, I said, S but here's the problem. I have the live cast to do tonight and In I can't an really go right now. Is it okay if I go at like seven o'clock or seven thirty? He goes, Oh yeah, that's fine. Just put a band-aid on it, wrap it tight. Don't go like 12 hours from now, but you should go in the next two, three hours. So that's where you need to go. So that's and where I need to go. You were hiding from me. Before, this is what man. I was hiding from right. you. I didn't want oh you to God. see this. Wait, by so the you way, cut the yourself knife after I got here today, huh? Huh? I you could did you cut yourself? After no, I cut I myself before here? you got here. Oh, okay, it must have been like right before. Yeah. So here's the thing, wow. Lynn. I've cleaned the knife. There is no there is no trace of me <laughs> he anywhere. He's never using that knife. Anywhere I can on you. the knife. 
But wait, I've got some video. Hold on. Let me you, see if I can. Let me get to Let me get Stacey to this. Stacey right now is going, there is no hope in hell you are ever using this knife right. in the kitchen. <laughs> She's going to ask me later. So are you cooking with that one knife? That Your fingers you? just hate you. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> I know. You Poor do Sam. To them. That's his Jewish finger, by the way. It's just oh been God. a brutal week for Sammy Han. Yes, no, the Jewish finger got it. The Hebrew finger <laughs> got whacked tonight, and so did the baby right beside it. Oh, you circumcise your. <laughs> okay, take my computer. I tried to show how much it was bleeding, and this is me having to hold it over okay. the sink. This is okay. Now you've gone too far. People, okay, you've done it. Just people press play. I got it. No, the... people want to see. You press play. Take no. it. Take it. Press play. You let me see it on the screen. If this was anybody you else, you'd be screaming. So look, I'm just trying to show. I, I don't know if you can see oh, how deep that cut oh, is. Oh, dude, Sam. come on, man. Come no, on. Look at it. Wash it off. See. Wash it off. And I tell you, it stings like shit. And oh, now, holy here we go. Shit. There you go. No, oh. You are being such a baby oh, with it. God. I'm not you're, being a baby. You're making it bleed there. And it's. No. <laughs> No, that was okay. Gushing. Okay, here's you the deal. By the way, words. it's basically numb that now. That was gushing. Let me tell you something. If we go to the hospital and they say there's no stitches needed, put a band-aid on it, little boy, and go home, then you can call me a baby. <laughs> but I believe I've got stitches coming in at least this finger and maybe this one and too. And wait, are those So wait, what is stopping the bleeding right now though? Well, I've got Well, now I've got two finger condoms on, I think on this one. Yeah. Look at right here. Yeah. Come close on this. I just hope that it's not going to like just turn beet red after. Right. Well, look at. Oh, whoa. so here's one finger condom. Oh, that, no. look at the okay, color in there. No, oh, that's not healthy, oh, that's, Sam. That's, that's not good. Oh my God, Dad, you're just. We like, should like wrap a, the show right now, man. I know. I'll take the bread pudding out. For no, you. I got should. stuff. I got stuff in the oven. I can't do it right now. <laughs> Shannon it, just text messaged. I am watching while I am packing. Oh my God, Sam is going to make me pass out. <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah, Shannon doesn't like stuff like this. No. You guys, this is what we do. This is dedication to the live I cast. Just, yeah, we don't true. miss for you guys. We don't miss for anything. Look, if the stuff in the oven was ready, which I know it's not, believe me, I would take it out. We'd be okay. Well, we, we have lots of people who are just like, some people are dying, some people are all right. Oh, okay. Diane's that, husband yeah. is an ER doc, yeah. and he says that they just saw it and said you should have gone right away. I have a, a Navy doctor next door who said I'm fine for a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to oh, yeah. happen? Trust and, me. I and what put, did I say to that? I would have put crazy. The man has three kids. And they're under five, and he doesn't have sutures next door. What kind of doctor does not have his own know. stitches next door for his own okay. family? Maybe, maybe he knows he I lives want next door to me. I want everybody out there to go to Facebook and settle this debate between my parents. Should How my dad some, have gone, or is he okay? How about somebody show up at the door with a set there of you stitches? Go, Wait, what, about, what about all the people that break stuff that don't go for two or three days? Uh, do you remember? Do you guys recall? <laughs> I'm talking to hey. your parents. Hey, parents, do you recall when I uh, split my chin open when I was six years old? At Peter Halliburton? Yeah, it's so weird because I have so little memories of back then, but this I remember so vividly. I was over at uh, my best friend at the time's house, and I was out front on my knees, like, kicking around on a skateboard, you know? Like, you know how we used to do that? Yeah. Like, yeah. You just push with your back foot like and you around Like or it. something. Yeah, and so I was going down the driveway, and there was a hose out front. And the board, um, you know, like caught and I Locked went up. flying forward and my chin just went boom right on the concrete. And I was like, whoa, that hurt. But I didn't <laughs> have any idea that anything was wrong. I just was like, wow, I smacked my chin pretty hard. And I just remember this so vividly. I turned around and I went to walk in the house where my friend and his family all were. And uh, as I was about to get to the door, his mom opened the garage door and just dropped a whole bag of lawn a whole basket of laundry and started screaming <laughs> started screaming because i was drenched in blood all down the front of my face it was just like cascading down from my chin and uh you then they took me to the hospital love those bloody stories Stitches? you do hey i remember i was uh fighting with my next oldest brother ron uh years and years ago i might have been nine or ten and he took off on his bike and i took off on my bike after him he was four or five years older than me. Mm -hmm. And I was planned. I wasn't an unexpected baby. I was <laughs> planned. Who said I wasn't planned? <laughs> Maybe it was me. Somebody's, was somebody's insecure. <laughs> I'm assured that I was planned. My mother says I was planned. So he takes off on his bike and I take off after him. And we're going down the alley and he stops. You know how when somebody's tailgating you on the freeway, you tap on the brakes or you want to give him a little notice? Mm -hmm. He slammed on his brakes. Not these kind of brakes. In those days, there was only the 
rear foot down on the you the know kick the, break. the kick brake, hit that. I hit into his back tire and I went flying off my bike and skidded on my chin. I got four stitches on my chin. Max, same, same. Woo. Oh I actually, God. you know, I remember you saying that to me, yeah. showing me your scar. I was a little kid. I'm cracking up. That scar. We have all or nothing here. People are posting, you're too late. Now you have the risk of infection. And then <laughs> the other camp is going, get out the crazy glue and forget about it. <laughs> when Sam faints, nothing Kelly, can you okay, finish uh, the uh, look, I, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in crazy glue for your fingers. But I could, it would not, I would have done it if it would have given me a break in the blood. Wow, wait, Diane is saying the that blood. they will not stitch you up because right. of the risk of infection If now. you wait too long, so. What's too, too, What's so too what, long? Just when we go in, just make sure you say it just happened, okay? <laughs> go They're going to see coagulated and blood. And all the clotted blood. They're going to know. Ah, shit. Shit. And you I'm don't have to take me. Max, Kelly, you're mom goes like him. this. Oh, no. Mom goes like this. I have a dog to get home. No, too. <laughs> mom goes like this. Lay I'm going to take up. you. I go. I'm fine. Jeremy. She goes. No, no, no. I'm not letting you go to the hospital by yourself. I go. I can take myself. I took myself years ago. Max, you were one years old, and I was bathing you. Oh, you're in the I bathtub can't. in the little house in North Park, and I was bathing you, and you were just doing this kind of thing with your hands, and your little uncut fingernail went. Boom, right into my... I didn't wear glasses in all those days. Went straight and you like scra scra scratched my eyeball. Oh, man. And no so it way. hurt like stink. I probably had a shot of vodka or something to cover it. One o'clock in the morning, the pain was so bad, I took myself to the hospital. Mom did... Did mom take me? No. I took myself to the hospital and they put drops in that took the pain away right away. And then they said, you got to go see a... You got to go see an eye doctor, you know, and have him take care of it. Well, you can tell how concerned she is right now. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Can I tell you what Jim is calling your dish tonight? He's not calling it bread pudding. Oh, no. He's calling it... Blood pudding? Blood pudding. No, oh. no, 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 no. That no, 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 no. So That's gross. not funny, Jim Fossil. Let me, t let me take this. So let me gross. tell you this. Years ago, I shot a show. Uh, it was halibut. And in the middle of cutting the vegetables... <laughs> the melange of peppers that would go on top of the halibut. Mm -hmm. I cut my finger so badly. I lost a little tip of it. We never did find the tip. Uh, ah. okay. We ended up call we ended up calling it finger halibut. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I don't know why we're laughing about that. No. And, and for anybody that's tuning in right now and seeing this little baby sized condom on the <laughs> on the desk, that that is a finger condom uh, only. Mm. That has nothing to do with anything sure going on here today. Is. Oh, look at that. Wait a minute. What? I'm trying to figure out how to do this in the quickest time possible tonight. And Carrie says, if you go to the ER, you'll be waiting for hours. If you go to the emergency care, you're in and out. What's Does the she difference mean, she between means, emergency care? No, she care? means urgent care, I think. Yeah, urgent care. Okay. Yeah, Except urgent here's care. the thing. We're going to urgent care. But I feel like the urgent care. Now, no, you're, me if you I'm, are... You are so wrong, and talk about bias. I feel like on it's this. the what? Yeah. Is the urgent care people not like the land of the misfit toys? No, oh they're the doctors god. that didn't quite make it. Oh my god! Am I getting this I can't all wrong? Believe you're saying that. No. Who are they? That's they're actual doctors. Sam. Are they real doctors? Yeah, they're real doctors. <laughs> they real oh doctors? my god! I thought they were like Did doctors you, okay. that almost got through their medical exams, but not quite. <laughs> That's not what it is. Wow. No, you're thinking of um, no, you're thinking of a physician's assistant, which isn't that they didn't get through their medical exams; <laughs> oh, it's God. that they chose a different path. You're what? doing it too. No, people no, are gonna be true. so. By mad. the way, I had a physician's assistant, an Asian woman phys physician's assistant, give me a rectal exam years ago. Oh God. And now I'm questioning whether she was qualified to do it. <laughs> and she said to me, "It was when I had my whole kidney stone issue, and she, I went in to get checked, and she said to me." Well, while you're here, let's just do a rectal exam on you. And I go, huh. I didn't really know that. That was part of it. I wasn't <laughs> oh really up for that. God. And she goes, well, it's not the highlight of my day either, but we should do it. <laughs> like, that's a good answer. God. <laughs> that's a good answer. Oh, man. Hey, okay. We have to give away two more We All Have Gift baskets for Christmas time. And we're going to be sending them out tomorrow. So if you win, make sure that you get on top of this and how send about us your information. We. We make people guess how many stitches you're going to get in both fingers. Oh, that's a oh, good one combined, good. right? And then we'll oh. Facebook you when we come back after Sam gets I love that. Uh, I love that. Land, that's good. Guess the two multiples. closest people. Yeah, and you have to be watching. Okay, my, here's the deal. Here's the Facebook. deal. You just Lynn, will you post that question? You want me to post it on your Facebook? Post the question. Yeah, post it on, on the no, Facebook. No, 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 sorry, sorry. Wait, 
I want no. We we're limiting this to people who are watching right now. We love the people who watch after the fact, but this right now is for winners. And if we post it to Facebook, then people who aren't watching will then be no no eligible. no. Here's the answer. We'll take it off of Facebook at the end of the show. Doesn't matter. When you post it to Facebook, anybody who's on Facebook right now will see it. They might not be watching the show. But if we just tell right now, you go go to the wall and post the number, no. then anybody who's watching right now will then be No no, no. I got an idea. I'm Let's gonna put it on Facebook and say, I, I'm gonna put it on Facebook mm-hmm. and I'm gonna say, tune in the show right now and we're gonna ask you a question to win and we all have gifts baskets. Okay? Okay. About okay. That. As long that as works, it's yeah. exactly immediate. That works, Can I just go yeah. check my uh my 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 blood I mean my bread pudding. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Hold on one sec. It's bad, you guys. He called me while I was hey, at I my got. mom's wait, house. Wait, look what I got as a Christmas present. It's called an oven mitt, I understand. <laughs> I've never owned one before. <laughs> wow, Jilly was just ripping on me for not having one the other day also. Ruthie, Ruthie at uh, DSC gave me this. You don't have one, man? I have none, and I burned myself really badly. Look at we have some guesses already. Eight, two, nine. So here's what here's the problem. Are they guessing how many all together? Because I've got two fingers. Yeah, yeah it's I, all we together. Said that combined. Combined. It's combined. Yes. Okay. Hey, you're not. Uh, that still needs time. Okay. And we'll just put your name in a hat if you get it right, and then we'll pull the winners of the there you right go. guesses. That's, uh, yeah. Hey guys, that's five minutes away. Okay, and so just for anybody who t- might be tuning in right now. We are giving away two We All of gift Show baskets the for Show Christmas. The uh, Lynn will pull up the picture. Um, and we're going to be doing it. And the way that we're doing it right now is you have to guess how many stitches my father might be getting tonight at the emergency room on his fingers. But see, now I'm thinking that they're going to get there and they're going to go, oh, no, it's too late. You don't get any stitches. You can guess zero. If that's what you're guessing. That's good. So here's you. you this happened. Guess. This happened. Okay. 630. This happened at 4.30. At 6.20. You saw the video. Mm -hmm. You saw the blood. You can see this finger right here uh, that has... Can we not? Is uh, Is blue. That is blue. Oh, yeah, and it's starting to... I know, Sam. Take that thing off. No, don't take it off. I don't think you want to see It's going to explode in here. Just leave it. Leave it. Oh, Oh, God. Do you have another one of those, man? I can see. You know what's going on? I see blood like... Ugh, underneath this, waiting to just like jet out. <laughs> look at oh, look no. what happened. Okay, can you finish your show? Because we have to go. I'm now getting you don't nervous. Have to come. I will go. No, I'm taking you. Yeah, there might be cute nurses there. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, All right. Yeah, they might give you a rectal exam. Be quiet. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, for those who are tuning in <laughs> right like now uh-huh. from Facebook, guess mm-hmm. how many stitches Sam is going to get in his two fingers tonight? Because mm-hmm. he. And guessed. we'll know in the next couple hours. And then yeah. you, we'll send. We'll pull the winners out of hat. We'll contact you, and then. Hey, wh- where are yeah. we going to go? We're going to an urgent care. Which I'm one? I'm telling you right now. I think I'm going to... I think at Green. Is that where you were? I don't know which time. When you... After your accident in Toronto. Shh. Don't talk about that. Oh. <laughs> we've, we've told that story. We've told I that know. Story. When you um, fell asleep at the wheel I'm and you drove into out. a ditch. I'm getting advice from people saying that you can call ahead to their well, urgent cares great. and say you're coming. Yes, please and drop my name. Like I won't call a re- I won't call a fucking restaurant and say uh, hi, I don't uh, can four of us come in tomorrow night at 8:30 and they go, "Sorry, we'll fill. We're we're full with no room in the restaurant." And people say to me all the time, "You need to say it's Sam the cooking guy." So now I'm going to call an urgent care and go, "Oh, hey, it's Sam the cooking guy. Come on, <laughs> can I come in and get stitched up?" I know you might have some people with broken limbs and other things, but <laughs> Please, I want to go to the front of, of the line. Yeah. I will. I'll, I'll <laughs> go second to anything that happens with someone's heart. But anything else broken? No, please. I need stitches. Put me at the head of the line. I will always remember this Christmas g- that you've given me. <laughs> yeah, it will have a great sure. story attached to it. Yep. Man, oh, some people yeah. are saying 12? 12? Well, I have no idea. It's not that big a cut, but I, it's deep. I'll tell you that. It's deep. It's we're de- go- I know where we're going. It's definitely deep. We're going to La Jolla. When I fell this last time and thought I broke my arm, that's where I went. <laughs> La Jolla <laughs> where? Which go. one? This, my, did, I'm wait, Carrie Bynes. Did you guys notice what she said when I fell this last time? <laughs> <laughs> because she's fallen a few times. All right. So that smells really good. I think we can get to that. Just let me say, uh, uh, let me thank uh, Fixtures Living. This is the last. Are we going to be here? Wait. Yeah, we're going to be here in 2012 still again. We'll be here next well, week. Well, the world's supposed to be 2013, you mean? The world yes. is. Let me just thank Fixtures Living for supporting the Sam Livecast before the world ends tomorrow. <laughs> yes, we love you guys. Yeah, we do love you. Um, 
You can go to their actual stores in San Diego, in uh, Costa Mesa, which is up by LA, and in Rancho Mirage, which is by Palm Springs. Or you can check them out online at fixtureslivingcom or on the Facebook, facebook.com forward slash fixtureslivinging, kitchen, bath, yep. outdoor, anything in those categories. They are the absolute experts for, and I will be at the San Diego store tomorrow from about 1 to 2.30. Come hang out, say hi, have something to eat. They have a little lunch thing going on. Come say hello to my uh, Hanukkah finger and my new stitches. <laughs> if, in fact, I get stitches, we're going to find out. Yep. yep. I have no idea, but I'll be there tomorrow if you want to come say hi. I'm meeting two people there that are bringing... Uh... Do you hear that? Oh, God. Jared. Now we have more issues with our dogs. She's having a dream. Aww. Baby, 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 it's okay. It's oh, okay. I love okay. that. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, Haley, that was. You a never know. Good it could have been dream. a good dream. She could have been like running around the field, or getting attacked by mean like wolves or That's something. That's true. <laughs> that could have been the case. Anyway, Fixture's Living tomorrow in San Diego, 1 o'clock to 2.30. I'll be there. Come say hi. Hang out. I'll sign something if you have something to sign. If not, then just come eat with me and commiserate with me and my fingers. All right. I'm ready to go to the kitchen and check out this, uh, what do we call it? Blood pudding. I mean, oh. bread pudding. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, Eggnog need- bread pudding. Let's go. Now I have- All right, so here's what we want. I don't need that. Uh, here's the bread pudding. The, the, what do we, the, the eggnog bread pudding. Oh, wow, does it smell good. It smells really good, yeah. doesn't it? Look at that. Oh. And look, oh my that's the, there's the consistency you want, right? It's kind of soft inside. Let me think of what I want to serve this on. I'll use one of these guys. So check out what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some of this. Just enough chocolate too. Oh, look. Oh my God. Ooh. That's how it's supposed to be. So pudding is a bit of a misnomer because pudding is sort of a, like a super creamy soft thing and it's not exactly that because, because it's got the bread in it and it's kind of like set up a little bit. But I'm going to only add two things to it. Let me do this right here by you, Maxie. Nice. Are you going to add to it? <laughs> Here's what I'm going to add. I'm going to add a little caramel to it. Yeah. That's because what about. I think that's going to make it extra, like, really luscious. And a little bit of powdered sugar. Larry goes, yep. He may have to have those amputated now, but he won't need those fingers tomorrow when the world There you go. Ends. Look at that. If this yeah. doesn't say Christmas, because it certainly doesn't say Hanukkah, I'll tell you that much. Holy smokes. And it's going to be hot too, man. I do this for all of us. <laughs> mm. Wow. <laughs> Impressive. Holy shit. Okay, please. Please will you make this. Oh my God. I think this is better than regular bread pudding. That little bit of extra, whatever the hell is an eggnog, and I don't know what the nog part is. <laughs> I know there's eggs in their milk, but... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, you could add booze to it if you wanted. You know, you could take a little, a little thimble of bourbon and drizzle that over the top if you wanted. I don't think it needs it. I think it's spectacular the way it is. This would be a great thing to take to somebody's house. But don't make it in advance. Cook it in their oven. All right. I think we're going to be here Monday night. Check the Facebook. <laughs> doing a Jewish Christmas. How meeting. many we're digits gonna are you going to have? I don't know how many fingers I'm going to have. But having Chinese food here, we don't know if you will to hear us or talk to us or whatever. I know you've got your own Christmases to go to. But for you, that, but for those that don't, We'll have something going on here on the live cast Monday night. Have a wonderful weekend. Have an amazing Christmas. We look forward to seeing all you guys on the other side of it. For real, regular show again, Wednesday night. 
Thank you for hanging out with us. Check out our sponsors, Fixtures Living. Go to weallof.com, get some last minute holiday gifts. Sam and the promo code, get 10% off anything you buy. And make this, because this is amazing. See you next week.